We're here with our cropping system specialist, Josh Lofton. And Josh, we just heard from a producer who's been grazing his cattle on oats. How popular is that in the state? Oats are actually a really popular option. Um, uh, a lot of folks like, like oats due to the, the flexibility in the system that it provides. Um, if, if a grower goes in and plants, plants their wheat and it fails out in the fall, or, or maybe they didn't get a chance to plant their wheat in the fall, uh, oats provide us a really good option of going in in the spring um, and, and putting in a forage crop. That way those cattle can go in uh, the back half of the spring and, and actually get pretty decent forage production. And most of the time in a failed wheat crop, we're, we're going to go in into more of a no-till situa situation compared to if you didn't get wheat in the fall, we might be in, into more of a tilled situation. When we look at, at a lot of our planting practices, they are very similar to wheat. Um, and and some of our things like uh, seeding rate and, and seeding depth are gonna depend on which, which one of those two you're in. In regards to the quality of forage, is it better than wheat or is wheat better? How does, what do you think? It's really six and one, you know, they're, they're really gonna like it. You know, it's, it's in a period to where there's not a lot of green stuff growing, so getting a good oak crop out and established is, is pretty good. It's definitely better than the failed wheat crop. The, the benefit that the oats provide is, is um, if growers do end up planting it in the spring, it can get that very rapid forage production that, that those cattle can use uh, rather quickly uh, during that, that critical time uh, coming out of, out of the winter. Are oats specifically for cattle or do they use them for other animals? Well, and, and that's very interesting because we have quite a few growers in the state that, that aren't necessarily grazing their oats, but they're taking them to seed. Um, you know, we're really big in the horse industry here in the state of Oklahoma. You know, we, we have oats being supplied to the horse industry. Also, the cover crop industry really loves oats. And, and I do believe we have several growers in the state that are growing oats uh, for seed supplies for the cover crop industry uh, to, to take to... Uh, back into Oklahoma or various other states uh, in the U.S. Let's switch gears a little bit and move to the winter crops. Um, how are uh, wheat and canola coming along? Actually, they're looking pretty good. Um, we're, we're looking real nice. Uh, it's, it's funny to say this time last year we were asking for more and more rain. Uh, now I think a lot of our growers are glad to see a little bit of drying temperatures. Uh, we had quite a few fields that were, were heavily inundated with water and so as, as some of those are starting to dry up, we're starting to see some of that wheat and canola come through a, a little bit more. Uh, we will probably be in that situation coming out of these next couple of weeks to where the nitrogen demand is fairly high. Um, so if you do have your enriched strips, now's the time to start looking into them. Um, so you, but you also have some uh, information about the All Crops Conference. Talk a little bit about that. We're, we're going to be uh, about 10 days away from our All Crops Conference. And, and I know we've been harping on this a lot this, this year, but this is, this is something new that we're doing. And we're calling it kind of that one-stop shop that, that anybody involved in Oklahoma production agriculture can come and, and learn something that they, they want to hear. Um, we have really, really good topics, really, really hot topics and very broad information available. Um, you know, so if you wanna know what's, what's happening with the farm bill and the implementation of that, we have Dr. Amy Hagerman that's gonna be talking about that. We also got a special guest, Jimmy Emmons, gonna come talk about conservation ag in his production system and how it's improved that greatly. As well as we have basically all the commodities that we grow in the state are going to be represented uh, in, in topics and discussion uh, there at the Crops Conference. All right, thanks, Josh. Thank you. If you would like some more information about oats and the All Crops Conference, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.